When I was younger and at an earlier stage of learning the guitar, one of my biggest influences and a player that I just could not understand how he created the sounds that he created was Zach Wild. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I personally feel is the best thing that I learned from analyzing Zach Wild's playing. Now there's so many different techniques and ways that he plays in which I could mention all of them, but if I narrowed it down to one thing that Zach Wilde does that really gives him his own style, like instantly you hear him do it and you know it's Zach Wilde, it's the way he makes a guitar squeal. His pinched harmonics and the way that he puts emotion and aggression into those harmonic sounds. So when I was learning his stuff, I found the way that he plays harmonics, his, his pinched harmonics, the such a useful tool, but I also found it a really hard thing to learn the way that he does it, as he does it in a way that his squeals sound completely different to everybody else's. He makes them sound so aggressive and emotive at the same time. There's a lot of emotion in them at the same time. And when I was watching his playing a lot and watching loads of videos of him playing, something that I realized is that he does harmonics in, pinched harmonics, sorry, in a complete different way to what most guitar players would play them, which helps him get the sound out that he wants. Now, a lot of people would say, well, it's the guitar that he uses or it's the amp that he uses, but me personally, and this is just opinion, I feel that a player's sound, the thing that makes them sound most like them is literally their self. I think you can put a good player on a bad guitar and they can, they'll can they sound half decent, but you'll still know it's them playing. Um, so yeah, their equipment plays a bit of a part in their sound, but I feel that the thing that plays the biggest part is their self personally, and Zach Wilde has got his own way of playing. I learned from him indirectly through analyzing his playing. I realized that his pinched harmonics, he wasn't doing them the way that most people generally do. Which sounds okay, but the way he attacks the strings, as opposed to staying close and kind of going like that, he literally throws his whole arm at the string to get aggression out. So if I demonstrate it, and you'll instantly hear the sound come out and sound more like the way he does it. It instantly sounds way more like him. It's a lot harder to hit them and it took me ages to try and get the way that he does them because it takes so much accuracy. And even now it's still hard to hit them after 17 years of playing, it's still hard to hit them every single time. Um, it feels more natural when you're actually playing and you try fitting them in when you just instantly just try and do one just off the bat demonstrating it's a bit harder and the position that you do them in as well creates a different sound. And what I realized is his pinched was harmonics was a big combination of him attacking the string from up here and he literally hits them every single time that he wants to hit them as well. He's so accurate with it. He attacks from up here and he comes down and he will hit the note with aggression. He'll get that pinched harmonic feel, but he'll get it with a full swipe and he'll just get it so accurately. And it took so much practice. And the way I practiced it for anybody else that wants to practice these is start at your normal point of doing a pinched harmonic. So if you do them close to the string like this, and I find the G string is the most comfortable one to start doing pinched harmonics on. Do it normal. Mm -hmm. 
We'll try it in different places as well. And as each day goes by maybe, try, as opposed to coming from this close, try coming out a tiny bit more and throw in a bit more action into it. So I've got this little, this flick going on now. And then once you've got used to doing it at about that height, bring, you know, after a while, bring it a little bit more up. And then once you've got it at that height, bring it a little bit more, more up. And keep going until eventually you can do it the way he does it. If you watch him play when he does these squeals, he'll literally come from up here and play them like that. So what I feel the best thing that I learned from analyzing Zach Wilde's playing was how to put aggression and feel into the way that you play pinched harmonic notes. I know there's a lot more other things that he does that I could reel off as well, but if I had to say what's the most handy thing that you learnt from Zach Wilde's playing, it would be the way that he does those pinched harmonics, and it's definitely worth practicing as well.